All right, everyone, we are chaos reached out of our minds. Everybody's favorite solo super is getting nerfed. Not really, though. And so today we've got another cracked build that will make any nerf to its super return a thing of the past. If you want wickedly fast supers, abilities for days and a boss melting overpowered build then you're in the right place. Subscribe today to join the millions already here, let's hit 60,000 likes today and let's get into it. In our last build video you might have heard me declare that any Chaos Reach build wasn't complete without Geomags. Well. I was wrong. Turns out geomags aren't required at all, unless you're a toxic, intellect farming, flawless, crucible, world pog champ wannabe f Mantle of Battle Harmony is the way. Turns out it's actually goaded when it comes to a Chaos Reach build. Energy weapon kills matching your subclass type will grant super energy and once your super is fully charged you'll get a boost to weapon damage of that subclass type. Energy siphon will proc as you build your super so you know the perk is working, whereas absorption cells is the perk for the weapon damage boost when your super is full. This 20% boost to damage stacks with all weapon buffs like Rampage and Vorpal Weapon but the best thing is that it stacks with exotic weapon perks too. Risk Runner is absolutely nuts when it comes to using it with the new Warlock exotic chest armor. Arc Conductor allows this weapon to become more powerful and you resist incoming arc damage. Super Conductor will make Risk Runner shots chain lightning too whilst Arc Conductor is active, making it a beast for insane ad clear potential. It also benefited from the recent visual changes for SMGs like reduced screen shake and so it is quite the laser beam especially with the exotic catalyst. Now that's great and Risk Runner really excels against Fallen Dregs and Hive Boomer Knights who deal arc damage, yet the best and most consistent way to proc arc conductor is to actually grenade yourself. I find the pulse grenade to be the best for this, throw it at your feet and you're off to the races, as easy as that. It can leave you especially vulnerable to other incoming damage types but if you're shredding everything it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But we can make this build even better, because even though all these chain lightning shots will proc a crazy super regen with battle harmony, we can pair it with the elemental armaments mod too. This mod will grant a cumulative chance to create an elemental well on weapon kills matching your subclass type which is exactly what the risk runner is. The sheer amount of kills with Risk Runner will drop a well fairly consistently and so collecting it will grant energy to all of our abilities but with the Font of Wisdom mod also, it will grant a huge bump to super regen for 30 seconds too. Now you could use elemental charge to become charged with light too, so we can use some charge mods with this build. But if you've got Risk Runner's catalyst and fully masterworked it, you'll be creating orbs of power all of the time, which not only grants super energy too, but with taking charge, you'll become charged with light too very easily. Now we want to become charged with light so we can use the Lucent Blade mod, which will grant a further buff to swords for 5 seconds, as well as increasing the sword recharge rate too, allowing you to use their heavy attacks more often. The absolute best sword here to use is Temptation's Hook, especially one with Vorpal Weapon. This arc sword is deadly and doesn't get anywhere near enough love, but with either Absorption Cells or Lucent Blade active, it'll shred through yellow bar enemies and do huge damage to bosses too. You definitely want to make use of its caster frame heavy projectile attack to make the most of this one, and with it being an arc weapon, even normal kills will help boost super region too with Battle Harmony. Sword Ammo Finder and Scavenger Mods are a must with this sword though due to the high ammo consumption rate from the heavy attack. Obviously we're using the Attunement of Control subclass throughout, so weapon kills will proc Ionic Traces which when collected will grant ability energy too, again looping back into boosting grenade recharge rate so you can self proc Risk Runner as and when required. The synergy within this build is absolutely insane, and with the current mods available this season it's perfect for endgame champion content too. The Overload SMG or Sword Artifact is great for Overload Champions and you can even use the Anti-Barrier Sniper mod with a Kinetic Sniper Rifle to round out the build. But the must have mod for Season of the Chosen is Volatile Conduction, as this will allow you to boost your super damage by 30% if you cast it when you're critically wounded. On that note, it rounds out the build perfectly, ready for you to start over again and melt absolutely everything. I'd definitely rate this one over a Geomax build any day, because even though Geomax can make your super last longer, the insane recharge rate we have here will allow for over double the amount of supers you'd get with Geomax anyway, especially in PvE. I hope you enjoyed this quick build guide, 
If you did, then hit that like button so we can get to our 60,000 target for today and also please subscribe too. That's it for this one though, so on that and as always, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.